of her demise in her files. It was not made public. There was an accident at the laboratory during an experiment. She was killed. You are familiar with my line of research? No, but it must be fascinating. Quite so. I am... I was the head of the biological explosives research team. Biological explosives? Sounds rather outlandish, frankly. Perhaps, but also very real and very dangerous. Imagine an undetectable chemical reagent which can be injected into a living host. The reagent causes a reaction in the organism that culminates in a massive explosion that feeds on organic material. In other words, the effective range of the weapon is dictated by the amount of catalyst in the reagent and the population density at ground zero. In a city, the death toll could be tens of thousands. The speed of the reaction can be controlled with great accuracy by the chemical composition of the reagent. Human time bombs. Quite so. How is such a thing possible? Ah, uh, I spent many years trying to answer that very question. Perhaps you'd care to read an article I've been preparing on the subject. It's rather fundamental, but it will give you a foundation for understanding the larger issues. I'm deeply honored. Don't mention it. I feel it is my duty to reward open-mindedness and imagination whenever the opportunity arises. You would make a fine pupil. By the way, I never thanked you. I'm sorry I doubted your competence. Apology accepted. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Yes, sir. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. Get up, laddies. We're going aboard. What's this loss? I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Keep this door locked. Come on, I know you're in here somewhere. Hey, Pally, forget about it, eh? Save us some time and come out, won't you? Raw between your beans! Raw between your beans! So much for a lovely, relaxing flight. 
holding tight, lassie. You're not going to kill her? What if she wakes up? Now look here, you. I'm not going to butcher a fellow countryman without a specific grudge. If she wakes up, she can fend for herself. If she dies, then she ain't really a Scot, so I won't feel bad. Now, go get that doctor fella and do a final sweep. Take anything that looks important. Papers, files, whiskey, whatever. Yes, sir. Something's not right. All right, let's go. But some of our men are still aboard. Listen to you crying like a wee girl. They'll have to make do, won't they? She doesn't land on her feet.
Congratulations! You have failed again. Although the circumstances were certainly extraordinary in this case, don't expect much sympathy from command. Unity cannot afford failures, however justifiable. I'm impressed, Agent Archer. I expected that promoting you to field operations would be disastrous, but I never imagined a catastrophe of these proportions. You've now managed to botch two high-profile, high-stakes missions. Care to explain? I did my best under the circumstances. Well, now that we've seen you at your best, I'm not sure we can afford to see you on an off day. Now, now, Mr. Smith, we've had a few setbacks. A few setbacks? Agent Archer, I must confess that I'm troubled by the results we've seen from you thus far. But I also realize that you've been thrust into some formidable situations. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me yet. It's quite probable that things will get worse before they get better. I don't see how that's possible. Did you get a look at your assailant? Aye, that I did. Did you recognize him? Sergeant Magnus Armstrong. Born in Glasgow, Scotland, 1925. Frequently in trouble as a lad due to a penchant for fighting. By all accounts, he was a good-natured, likable young man. Never bullied anybody, only picked fights with boys that were game for a brawl. Got kicked out of several schools before his parents finally stuck him in a military academy. During the war, he served as a sapper in France and Germany. Everything from mine removal to demolitions and sabotage. Earned himself quite a reputation for his reckless antics. The most popular legend had to do with a bridge he allegedly crippled with nothing but a shovel and a hand grenade. A German supply train did the rest. When it reached the weakened section of the bridge, the whole structure came crashing down. It's a shame this chap ended up on the wrong side of the law. To the best of our knowledge, he's never been involved in anything this big before. Most of his arrests since returning from the war have been related to public brawling. Any theories on why he didn't simply shoot you when he had the chance? I'll be sure to ask him when I bring him in. That's assuming you get the opportunity. She just might. We may have a lead. This morning, West German custom officials in Hamburg discovered several suspicious-looking chemical containers aboard a Finnish cargo freighter. Fortunately, these chaps decided to inform us rather than seizing the contraband outright, which gives us a chance to conduct a covert investigation. You believe this is the link to Dr. Schenker? It could well be. If so, given the specific chemicals found aboard the freighter, it's a fairly safe bet the kidnappers are not only aware of Dr. Schenker's research, but also determined to capitalize upon it. If our theories are correct, the kidnappers are in Hamburg or will be arriving shortly. A good spy could find them. Fortunately, we're sending a good spy on this mission. You'll be working with him. A new partner? More like a supervisor. 
An American named Thomas Goodman. Perhaps you've heard of him. Aye, but I thought he was killed in Amsterdam. Nearly. He's a resourceful chap, though. He did daring escape on a stolen bicycle with half the Dutch police force in hot pursuit and KGB agents waiting in ambush round every corner. Smashing story. I'm sure he'll recount it if you ask him. At any rate, you're to rendezvous with him in Germany and see what the two of you can dig up. You'll take your orders directly from him during this mission. Thank God. Very good, sir. Thank you. Agent Archer? Yes, sir. What was it like falling out of that plane? I promise to tell you about it sometime. I tell you she's a liability. Perhaps, but I'm not convinced yet. What will it take to convince you? How many more catastrophes must we suffer through? Because keeping her on the active list will lead to further disasters. Of that, I'm certain. Yes, I can see that you are. Our purpose is to preserve freedom, to protect innocent lives, to combat evil wherever it manifests. We can't afford to tolerate anything that stands in the way of that goal. The girl may be spirited, but she's virtually incompetent. I admire your sense of duty, but I question your judgment. I can't say that at my prime I would have performed any better than she under the circumstances. You're assuming her reports are entirely genuine. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised to learn that she'd colored the facts. The bloody things read like adventure novels. So now you're indicting her credibility? Does that seem unreasonable? The girl was a thief, for goodness sakes. A little skepticism seems prudent. I'll take it under advisement. Look, it's not too late to pull her off the assignment. I've read the American's file. He's perfectly capable of handling an operation like this on his own. Probably so. But I have the strangest feeling a woman's touch is exactly what we need on this one. I can't argue with you when you're like this. No, you can't. I hope you realize you're letting yourself be ruled by intuition. Reason tends to make a far more reliable counselor. You might ruminate on that adage yourself. Huh. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Here's a perfume that'll really knock them out. Literally. It sprays a cloud of vapor that contains a potent sedative capable of knocking out a horse, let alone an adult human. Just be careful not to wander into the cloud yourself, or who knows where, or even if, you'll wake up. Why don't you try it out on Leon here? He's been up for 32 hours straight working on a new prototype. The rest might do him some good. Proceed to Hamburg, West Germany and rendezvous with Thomas Goodman, an operative from Unity's American branch. Goodman may have information concerning Dr. Schenker's whereabouts. The rendezvous will take place at Das Einsame Valkyrie, a popular beatnik nightclub in Hamburg. You will recognize Agent Goodman by his rugged good looks and the unlit cigarette he is holding in his left hand. Offer him a light. He will answer with, sorry but I don't smoke. Once you have made contact, you will be under Agent Goodman's command. Follow his orders implicitly. How am I going to get in there? I demand to be let in. I'm sorry, that's impossible. But my girlfriend is inside. I understand that, but they can't let you in. Can I at least go find her? Sadly, no. Why not? Because the club is full. Nobody else is allowed. Well, can you go find her for me? I must stay here. 
Then can you send someone to find her? Everyone is busy. You will just have to wait. I want to speak to someone in charge. As I said, everyone is busy. If you come back tomorrow after 10 a.m., perhaps you can speak with someone then. But my girlfriend is in there now. Perhaps you should have come together. Then you would not be in this situation, and I would not have to listen to you shouting at me. I'm just getting warmed up. It's not my fault that you're out here and she is in there. It is your fault. She is your girlfriend. You should have known better than to ask her to wait for you inside a club that is known to fill up every single night. Can I please just go and find her? I said no, and I meant it. Now go away or I will call the police. Schweinhund. Scheiß Kopf. <laughs>